Hey you, it's Katie you. Hey you, it's Katie you, and welcome to the worst vlog you will ever watch. Like, click out now. Shoot. Bye bye. Why are you still here? Woke up at 11 o'clock. I ain't got no job. What the hell should I do today? Reverse psychology, did it work? Hello everybody, let me take you a bit through my day before I started talking to you just now. So, I woke up, I made a smoothie. Ooh, ooh. Oh, oof. Ooh. Pepto Bismo looking ass. Mm. Gobble, gobble, gobble that up like Megan the Stallion. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm in a really mood. Re I'm and then I went to class, barely paid attention, didn't film it because I simply looked like sh during it. I was really set on filming a fashion video today. But then I got my period. Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. Me and my son. Hit uh -huh. Yeah! And then I realized that I bled on my seat. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm on my brother's chair because I had to like wipe down the other chair and now it's drying and this one's so creepy, look. So now I can't sit on my favorite chair so my vibe is ruined for the whole day. And then I had lunch with my mom. That was a pretty good highlight. She made some bomb ass stuff. Wait, I love this. <laughs> Wow. Wow. We came upstairs. And I realized that I didn't clean my off of my chair very efficiently. And she was very disappointed in me, as y'all know that she usually is. Which leads me to right now. I'm suffering. There is a tiny animal kicking little indents into my uterus right now. So I'm gonna take you through a day of me recovering from being so burnt out. This past week has been an absolute tornado. So let's go to my bed because this chair ain't cutting it. <laughs> so let's go through our to-do list. I could really just get up, but... Come on! <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been to one of my classes this entire week. I just skipped all the lectures. So I have to catch up on all of those. Do assignments for one of my extracurriculars. And I also have to turn in like a project for my internship by tonight. The next thing I should probably get out of the way is like... My lectures. <laughs> uh ha ha! But like, I really don't want to do it. I have to do it. I know I should. I don't want to do anything. I don't want to do it. I'm back with my handy dandy notebook that I have used barely anything of because I've been slacking in this class. Let's go ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, girls and guys, guys and booze, booze and singles and couples and triplets and twins, parents, single mothers, single fathers, children, I'm not in my right mind today. No shit. Mom? Can we bake tonight? Let's make plans to bake. Oh, 
would you look at that? Katie procrastinated by FaceTiming her friends for four hours straight until the sun went down. <laughs> but was it better for my mental health? Yes, it was. And now I am currently working on an internship project due at midnight. Let's get a nice time lapse of me working, eh? Productivity, eh? Shut the hell up, bitch. <laughs> So, you know how I said like six hours ago I need to finish my econ lectures? Let's, you know, make that a reality. Psychologists on TikTok say all the time like the reason why you procrastinate stuff is because like you don't like the emotion that that task gives you and like that's so right. This class makes me feel lost, confused, behind, stupid. So like yes, by all means my brain is avoiding those emotions but it's just like those emotions prevent me from engaging further with the class material which makes me feel those emotions of being behind and left behind and alone and stupid even stronger so it's like a never ending cycle that I have full liberty and full control of breaking. I'm just mean to myself, but I don't even act on it. I'm just like, Katie, you're stupid. Okay, let's do the same thing tomorrow to make you feel stupider. I think lowering our expectations for how we perform in the middle of pandemic is like totally logical. It's very hard to do. Obviously, we're all very hard on ourselves, but it's something that I'm working on. And hopefully by me saying this to you, hopefully it, you know, taps a little further into your brain. Just know that I'm right there in the thicket of it all with you. Yeah, we in this together, we suffering together. So let's get on with this econ lecture. Let's get it freaking over with. If I watch it on two times speed, hopefully I will be past this tunnel. Okay, now that I've gotten all the gross homework done with, I'm now going to take this extra free time to prep y'all's giveaway gifts because if y'all have watched my cute- How dare you? How dare you? If you have watched my Q&A video, I did a giveaway. I'm prepping everything to go out and I want to make it a little personalized. So I'm gonna do that now because it makes me happy to do this for you guys. Bro, I forget how to use these like all the time. I have to recalibrate my brain every time I use it. I feel more comfortable doing this with the scissor. I can't really see what's happening. I'm old school. I'm very, very pooped out, but tomorrow, guys, is freaking Halloween. It's the culmination of spooky season. And tomorrow, my mom and I are gonna be like baking spooky cookies, and that's gonna come up in three, two, one. Shawty, a little baddie. She my little thick thing. Shawty got the fattest. Shawty be having mood swings like me because I'm on my period. Look at those hips. Oh! What is that? Guys, there was a point in my life where I had really high abnormal cholesterol. And so in order to prevent that, my mom lied to me that Nutella made your blood harden. Like as soon as you ate it, it would harden and your veins would explode and you die. And it worked. I never ate Nutella after that. So. And now I no longer have cholesterol. So moral of the story, lie to your children. Shoddy a little fatty. Rolling, rolling, rolling on these dog games. Psychedelics, are we going crazy? Spread the cocaine. Flour. Cocaine. Look, she got a paper cut. And she's bleeding. It's me only. I mean, it's in the hole. Ah, ah, ah. Oh my god, it's a bloody eye. <laughs> Somebody stabbed it, so it's bleeding. Our collection of bloody butchered fingers. So let me tell you each of their stories, okay? This one got shot in the nail because she didn't leave a tip at the nail salon. These two are eyeballs, but they're taken from two different people. The surgery of, you know, gouging their eyes out didn't go very well. Excuse me. 
This one, she just got her period. This one, she, you know, in addition to getting paper cuts like this girl over here, she also decided to staple herself. He, excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> he got his finger stuck when somebody slammed the door on him, so not that big of a deal. And then he, excuse me, he got bitten by a spooky spider that he found inside his pumpkin while he was pumpkin carving for Halloween. And those are our stories, ladies and gentlemen. You know, I will leave a GoFundMe link in the description below and you can donate to help all of their causes and their surgeries. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna bake it. Pop it! The oven. Alexa, set the timer for 15 minutes. Okay. She's come a long way. Good girl. <laughs> The surgery is complete. Let's take it out. The patient's lives are on the line, mom. Why are you walking so slow? They're about to die. <laughs> Look at the blood. <laughs> oh, it smells really good though. You have to do the beauty girl hand. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. All right, everyone, that was a mundane two days in my life. Today was Halloween, happy Halloween, even though it's gonna be past Halloween when you watch this. I hope you had a happy Halloween. And um, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, comment, <laughs> and subscribe. Bye, guys. I'm gonna come for the camera. Thank you, bye. Like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.